Have you ever wondered why Amun-Ra, the god of Egyptian mythology, was known as the Hidden One? He was the creator god who brought himself into existence and was believed to have created everything in the universe. Despite being the chief god throughout most of Egyptian history, his true form was said to be unknowable, and his name meant the Hidden One. In this video, we will delve into the mysteries surrounding Amun-Ra, his origins, his depictions, and his significance in Egyptian mythology. Stay tuned until the end to uncover the secrets of this enigmatic deity. Myths and legends often refer to a creator god who shapes the world and creates people. In ancient Egyptian mythology, this god was known as Amun, who brought himself into existence and was believed to have created everything in the universe. Amun was the chief god throughout most of Egyptian history, perceived as the deity present in chaos at the creation of the cosmos, and his name meant the Hidden One. Although Amun's true form was said to be unknowable, he was often depicted as a bearded man or pharaoh wearing a turban with two long feathers, symbolizing his dominance over both Upper and Lower Egypt. Amun was part of a group of primordial deities known as the Agdod of Hermopolis and was linked with another deity to embody male virility and sexual potency. Amun's origins are unclear, but he was associated with epithets and theories about his birth and how he populated the world. He gained the epithet Kamuti, meaning the bull of his mother, depicting a self-generating god who impregnated his own mother. Amun was the mysterious originator of all life and was known as the one who made himself into millions. In the temples of Thebes, Amun was given a partner in the form of a royal priestess known as the god's wife. It was believed that one of her duties was to physically arouse the god so that he would continue creating life. Amun's depiction changed over time, with him originally having red-brown skin and later being portrayed as all blue, symbolizing his union with the sky and primordial creation. The belief that Amun, the god of the Theban pantheon, mystically united with the queen of Egypt to sire the heir to the thrones, including the temple of Queen Hatshepsut at Deir el-Bahan. The idea persisted as late as the Greco-Roman period, when legends told about how Alexander the Great was sired by Amun, which was acknowledged by some classical scholars. The Macedonian king seems to have been accepted as the god's son after making a pilgrimage to a remote temple of the Egyptian deity. According to the belief, the god appeared to the king in the form of snakes while he was in danger in the desert and led him safely to the temple at Siwa. In the New Kingdom, the cult of Amun was over time combined with those of other deities, particularly that of the sun god Ra becoming Amun-Ra. He was worshipped as the king of the gods and creator of the world and its inhabitants, earning the name Nebucha, the lord without limit. Another hymn tells us that Amun-Ra was in reality a whole of three gods, with Amun being the hidden one, the entity that cannot be known. Ra was said to be the visible form of the creator, especially through his features that we all associate today as the sun god and Ptah in his human embodiment. All three were combined in the same god creator who listened to prayers and came to the voice of the distressed, the same deity who gave breath to the wretched and upheld the rights of justice for the less fortunate. However, Amun Ra also had a secret name, the knowledge of which could bring great power to whoever gets their hands on it. This name was so powerful that it was not revealed to anyone and only the high priests of the temple were aware of its existence. The belief in the secret name of the god reflects the power and mystery that surrounded the worship of Amun-Ra in ancient Egypt. He is the god who is thought to be hidden, but is still widely dispersed throughout the cosmos. Unlike other significant gods, Amun does not appear to have been thought of as residing in some far-off heavenly realm. He was in every place at once, unseen but palpable, like the air itself. According to some accounts, Amun came to be worshipped in locations other than Egypt as well, most notably in Libya and Nubia, where he is most commonly represented by a ram with curly horns or as a sphinx with the head of a ram. As the new kingdom came to an end, the Lord of the Thorns ruled as a divine pharaoh and was regarded as the father of each Egyptian king due to the fact that he was a member of the Ogdode. 
He was also given the title of Father of the Kings. Additionally, he is depicted with the head of a snake, which is the form in which he was revered at Thebes. This representation carries with it connotations of immortality and never-ending renewal. Because he was depicted as a manifestation of the ancient sun god of Heliopolis, the Egyptian deity Amun was given the title of King of Gods, which effectively raised his prestige and earned him the title. He was also worshipped at the great temple complex of Karnak and Thebes as the hidden god, becoming the local patron of that area. He was considered to be the paternal figure in a Theban triad of deities, along with his new consort, the goddess Mut, and their son, the youthful moon god Kansu. The Great Hall of the Hippo style in the Temple of Amun Hotep III in Luxor has covered with wall paintings of Amun and the Pharaoh. These paintings depict several processions honoring the god and allowing the Anun priesthood to become a powerful force in Egypt. Unfortunately, the Pharaoh Amun Hotep IV had a deep seated distaste for the cult that was dedicated to Amun and introduced the worship of Aten, which ultimately resulted in a conflict of beliefs between the two groups. The tale describes how the superstitious pharaoh endeavored, in both a literal and figurative sense, to establish the disk of the midday sun as the one and only god. He moved the capital away from the ancient city of Thebes, which was known for its worship of the god Amun-Ra, and established a new city in honor of the sun disk. Even his own sons was given the name Tutankhaten, which means the living image of Aten. However, when the city of the pharaohs was abandoned and new rules were implemented, the boy was given the name by which he is now known in history, the pharaoh Tutankhamun. Aten was worshipped as a transcendental self-created deity who kept his own secrets and became known as the life force that existed within everything in existence, including gods. He was also known for maintaining his own secrecy. He was thought to be incomprehensible to all other beings, whether they were mortal or divine. He was revered by the Egyptians as the greatest goodwill donor in the history of humanity because he was the one who granted each person the gift of life and was lauded by those in positions of power as well as those in positions of weakness. The god Amun maintained his position as the most important deity in the Egyptian pantheon throughout the entirety of the New Kingdom, with the exception of the atheist heresy that arose during the reign of Pharaoh Amun-Hotep IV. Along with Osiris, he is the deity from the Egyptian pantheon that has been recorded the most frequently throughout history. The majority of us frequently come across misconceptions regarding the mysteries that revolve around the god Amun. This is probably due to the confusion that is provoked by the fact that he has many different names. However, we need to understand that these names were meant to depict the god at different celestial levels and roles that he occupies within Egyptian mythology, as they were all aspects of the same godly entity. Another question that has not been satisfactorily answered, and one that we are all faced with, is that of determining which of Amun-Ra is the true creator god. In spite of the fact that they were venerated during separate eras, it is possible that these two entities were merged together due to the fact that they are very similar to one another, or that they are in fact the same god, but with different names. As was mentioned earlier, this mystery is likely to be left unsolved, almost certainly, due to the presence of knowledge that cannot be disclosed and, as a result, will continue to be kept a secret for all of the time. And that's a wrap on our exploration of the hidden god of Egyptian mythology, Amun-Ra. We have delved into the mysteries surrounding his origins, his depictions, and his significance in ancient Egyptian culture. From his role as the chief god to his depiction as a self-generating deity who impregnated his own mother, Amun-Ra's complexity and power continue to intrigue us today. The belief in the secret name of the god reflects the power and mystery that surrounds the worship of Amun-Ra in ancient Egypt. His influence was felt not only in Egypt, but also in neighboring regions where he was often represented as a ram or a sphinx. And despite the rise of other gods and goddesses, Amun-Ra remained a powerful force in Egyptian mythology throughout the New Kingdom. We hope that you've learned something new and that you were entertained along the way. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you at the next one.